We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. I'm not even saying the date anymore, so I can't get in trouble. And we've got Angela Stokes Monarch digging away, creating something over there. Yeah, um, I want to start planting seeds, and I didn't really have anything to plant them in. And a woman came to start helping us with things in the house today, and I was asking her about how we can recycle things. And she said, well, I don't know how to recycle anything around here. So we decided instead to turn these things into things that I can plant things in so I can start growing some of the seeds. So she cut this in half and we have this little thing. So I just came outside onto the land to try and find some good soil to start planting things with. So I got some soil from way over there that has like stones and stuff in it. Um, I thought I would put some of that at the bottom of these containers so that um, there's a little bit of drainage, I guess, down there. I don't know what I'm going to plant in these yet. Oh, I guess we'll work that out when we get back to the house. And then this soil, I just dug up a little bit here. There's some stones in here as well, but they're smaller and it just looks kind of richer. There's a lot of different kinds of soil around here, I'm realising, like, the guys just dug out the canal over there um, yesterday and the soil that came out of there, it seems like it's really rich and it's also really heavy. It's like, like clay. So I'm feeling like that's not the best to use to start the seeds off. So I'm just kind of digging around and seeing what we can find. This, it's really rich, you know, really amazing dark stuff. Yeah, and remember all the fun we were doing with our garden? Well, check it out. Look how far we've gotten now. Ow! It kind of looks like crop circles, doesn't it? Or something like that. It totally looks like an alien spaceship just came over here and just burned right into the ground these crop marks. I think that's what did happen when we were sleeping because we got three of them. One, two, This is so badass. We also got horses. Yeah, we have a lot of horses. These are riding horses. I could just hop on one right now. Babe. Uh-oh. I think we're going to try to ride a horse. I've never even done that before in my life. Just like the motorcycle. Now check this out. But what we're going to do here is we're going to refill these back up and make beds out of all these holes. It's going to be awesome. And then we're going to start growing food in no time. Love it. And now it's time to ride a horse. We seem to have a lot of different tree mushrooms as well. Um, here's some. Don't know what they are. I'm sure some of you do. And then the, that tree up there is dead as well. And there's like a big, I don't know if it's reishi maybe on that one. There's like this big kind of red brown thing up there. Well, let's go check it out. Okay. Oh, wow. See this one? That might be Rishi. Oh man. You just found that there? Mm-hmm. And then over here there's these funny Wait, I'm not done with this one. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> well guys, let me know. Is that Rishi? Am I about to have Rishi tea for the next month? <laughs> Post down below. And there's these ones. That I've never seen mushrooms like this. They're like soft. Actually, maybe I have. I think these things are called pig's ears or something. But that's an interesting one. So I learned from Dr. Wolf some years ago that tree mushrooms only grow on dead trees. Probably you all knew that. But um, So yeah, I'm just kind of looking around at the different dead trees that we have. We have quite a lot of tree stumps. And yeah, it seems like we have a lot of different mushrooms. Exciting. Did you guys know that our next door neighbor is a raw chef? One of our, our other next door neighbor? It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, we are so blessed. In the raw food gathering coming in May, there's going to be like a tribe of raw food chefs apparently on that next plot. There's going to be like at least six of them. So it's prime time to come to Vilcabamba. 
I can sense the elevation is a bit higher up here, 4,000 feet or more, because I get out of breath, and I can sense the health potential involved with that. I love it. One of the other reasons why it is the land of longevity. I found really good soil over here. I've just been like digging around in different places as I'm walking, and um, this stuff right here is where it's at. It's so like dark and rich and loamy. There's like no stones in here. So this was just like a patch of grass, and I just <laughs> stuck the, the fork in and just digging stuff up and it's amazing so you can see the color difference they like back over there somewhere I found an area where it was more like clay again and I put a little bit of that in here because I thought well that might help with the water or something and I was just putting in different bits of soil just to have a variety and then I got here and it's like wow this all right, so I got my soil into my containers and now I'm gonna um, plant some of the fruit tree seeds that I brought here um, these are white sapote seeds, and I just have three of those. Let's put them in here. Oh man, if those grow out here, <laughs> we're gonna be the first ones to have white sapote. Okay, so I'm gonna, right now I don't have much room for planting because I only have these three pots, so no, they're not gonna get much room right now, but as soon as, if they start growing then, or when they start growing, there you go. we'll transplant them and they'll have more room. So that's those three. Who else should I put? Let's, these are carob seeds. Um, I'm gonna try and see if we can grow some carob pods. Carob pod Wouldn't we just wanna soak those in water to sprout them? We could, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna try planting some. Um, maybe I'll just do three of those as well for now. We'll plant more when we have more space. We have a lot of carob seeds. And here we have persimmons. I'm really excited about these. These were from the California farmer's market. Most amazing persimmons. So that's, we only have three of those as well. And these guys are from the ice cream beans that we had in California. So they have, California, they have ice cream beans here as well, but they're different looking. So let's try planting a few of these as well, see if they want to produce. And I think we're running out of time, so I guess, you know, I'm just gonna water these guys and keep on taking care of them and sending them love and we'll keep you updated on their progress. Okay, everybody, we're back at our crop circle gardens here and I kind of want to explain what's going on here. We formed it in such a way to where you can get to any part of the garden without stepping on the beds. So you can just come right in here, come right here, circle the whole area, everywhere, over here, we can hit these gardens. It's perfectly designed so we don't step on the beds. Love it. And uh, I'm still on this horse adventure. I'm becoming friends with one of them. I brought carrots out, but I don't know where my horse went. It's gone. Oh well. Well, this is Matt Monarch, and we'll see you again tomorrow with the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.